welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks going up against the Atlanta Braves. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away. Today's starting pitcher, Spencer Strider. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just Leading go into a Arizona. slumber. They've got to put up the some runs, fielder, make it a little seven. bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Corbin Carroll leading things off and takes a strike. Misses off the inside, and it's one and one. Righty delivers. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Zips it across. One up, one down. Now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lovello. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat ball and perhaps, one. you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, one get him moving no off the strike. mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. Ball. You better not miss it. Just missed. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, well, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Hit hard. That gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. Perfect example right there. A hitter who hits the ball on the outside part of the plate the other way has to trust his hands and let the ball travel a little bit deeper. And now it's Christian Walker. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Righty to the plate. Fouled off. He was late. And the 0-2. On the ground, the third might be two. Quick feed to second for one. On to Olsen. That's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. And now the Braves, with their first chance to hit, were scoreless. here with my pal Siggy and on the mound here today Zach Gallon. well the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball it's more of a knuckle curve and because of that it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter that makes it that much harder to hit this guy now in for the Braves Ronald Acuna Jr. pretty amazing athlete this guy is power and speed quite a threat I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? When you That's have a real athletic player and One who's strike. able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. And a foul ball.
Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Moreno gathers, throws the first, in time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One down, base is empty. In one, the one. dirt, one and one. The one one is fouled off. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. And he handles it himself for the out. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Here's Austin Riley. Pitch oh. misses, and it's 1-0. And the righty deals. And another ball. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And that will end the inning. And to the first from Truist Park. No score. Top of the second. Here's Jack the Peterson. The designated hitter, John Peterson. Strider back to work. Clips the corner. Going one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Ah. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out in second. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball. And then you swing and you miss. And you go back to the dugout Winner. shaking your head. Gabriel Moreno in now. Takes ball one off the plate. No score here in the second. Pitch misses. And it's 2-0. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. One out, base is empty. 
Ground ball left side foul. and that's just foul. The 2 2. And they'll do it again. And a pitch. That oh, one God. not close. And a full count now. Oh. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Two outs, bases empty. And hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Right oh. through there for a strike. Two out spaces empty. No. And a good eye there. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Oh, and a swing and a miss. And that's that. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Atlanta, bottom half of inning number two. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Olsen. Olsen who gets a chance to play his home games in Truist Park. It's a pretty neutral ballpark. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Ball, no. That misses the zone and that's one ball, ball one. No Nowadays strike. with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball. Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball but within the new shift rules. That one no. close ruled a ball. Two, one. Two and one. And an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Marte out. throws the first in time. That's one out the bottom of the second. Patting fifth. The designated hitter. First down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond no, taking a ball. colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. There's a strike and a count two and one. The count two and one. Just off the inside edge. And there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Good. Man at first with one gone. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just Dude. takes it away. Strike two. Okay. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really oh. quick first step, and that's why he makes so many great plays. One two. 
sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expanded a little bit with two strikes. So here's Murphy now. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. The Braves score first. It's 2 0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Here's Jared Kelnick on the ground right side. Sends it to first. That's the third out. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back at Truist Park, Alec Arizona. Thomas now. The right fielder, number five, Alec Thomas. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Well, after Ball putting up one. a nice inning on offense, got Ball some out. runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Throws to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The left fielder, Lourdes Guriel. And it's Lourdes Guriel Jr. Guriel getting the start in left. 30 years old now. And he was born in Cuba. In ah. there at the knees. Strike one. Ball. Next offering is downstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. The Braves up by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That oh. one misses. And the count is three and one. Three, one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Oh. And now the count filled up three and okay. two. Line drive, caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. Two outs, space is empty. Geraldo Perdomo digs in now. There's the strike. In the air, left field. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. So the lineup flips over. This is Corbin Carroll. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Strider, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Perdomo on its second with two down. Swing and a miss. One and two. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. 
That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Left-hand batter waits. That one missed. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Two outs and one in scoring position. And the slider just misses. Cattell Marte getting on deck circle. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves two and the Diamondbacks nothing. And we're back. Here's the veteran shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Orlando. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Two strikes. Bounce to third. Suarez throw to first in time. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. 0 for 1 so far. Acuna hitting leadoff in today's game, and he's a former rookie of the year. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Walker makes the play, and there's two down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball now right there. I think he tried to do it. a little bit too much. Okay. Sometimes those eyes can get really okay. big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Grounded out his first time up. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed no hitter. One strike. Rip to third. Fires across You're the up. diamond, and Albies is retired. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. They're up 2-0. Start of the fourth. Here's Cattell Marte. The second base. Cattell Marte. Strider back to work. Ball one, no strikes. You know, these D-backs no just strike. lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those ball chases two. that are turning into a bunch of outs, two can up. they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. That one misses, and that's ball three. And there's the automatic. Three one is on the way. And a rope into center field base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That's back to back singles for him. Let that pitch get pretty deep on him. So I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside though. So a good adjustment to shoot it back up the middle. And here's the first baseman Christian Walker. He's over one. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. 
and the pitch hammers that one deep left field and forget it and it ties it up it's 2-2 two -two. wow what a clutch swing right there and now anything can happen in this game Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Jock Peterson stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Ah. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And that's a strike. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And that's downstairs and outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that one is inside. Battling here as he fouls it away. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Moreno in the box now. Take strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Ball one there. One one. And that one fouled off. Peterson gets his lead at first with nobody out. Oh. Got him. <gasps> and one away. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Struck out swinging his first time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That oh, one clips the outside corner, and it's a 1 1. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Alec Thomas. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Pitch misses there. 1 and 0. Right through there for a strike. The 1 1 is fouled off. Two outs. Just no, off the ball. outside corner. Ball two. It's a good take. Go, and 
into swing and it is. Picks up strikeout number seven. D backs at a pair on the homer. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. And welcome back to the Where ballpark. The John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. Baseman. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Austin Riley. The wind and the pitch. Wouldn't One chase that time. He caught it behind his back. And that's a great that's play out. for the out. The batter. The first baseman. Matt. Olsen. Here is Matt Olson. That's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Not even close there. And that is ball one. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and down. A gigantic blast. And they grab the lead. It's 3-2. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So one out, nobody on. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. That's one down out. and in. Kicks and fires. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Michael Harris will hit next. Ground ball to the right side. Off balance feed. There's one. Now batting. Catcher. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Here's Sean Murphy. He's already homered here in this one. Gallon checks on the runner. Harris back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Yeah. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. Harris leads off first with two down to the inning. Ball. And downstairs. There goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. 
Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Hard Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Braves three and the Diamondbacks two. Back here in Atlanta, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's Guriel. The pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. So up next, Geraldo Perdomo doubled his first time up. The shortstop takes the ball. The Braves leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. That no. just misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at-bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Good hitters count the 2-0. Oh. And a drive. swing and a miss. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Out towards right center field. It falls in, and that's a hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands in and turned on the pitch. Quick bat through the zone. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Stepping in, Corbin Carroll. First pitch, and he just misses. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball. And another ball. Well, he's so Two great ball. about hitting the no ball strike. the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Top of the zone for a called strike. Man at first, one away. Yeah, there's a ball. Ball in this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Cattell Marte up next. And a 3-1 on the way. Gets under and pops it up. And there's two down. You go ahead and the count 3-1. I think as a leadoff man that's got the ability to change the game with your speed, you want to really, really lock in on your pitch in that 3-1 count. And he hit a borderline pitch there. That's just adjustments you want to see a kid make. He didn't make it in that at bat. Marte in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Fought off foul. This to third, Riley. They get the force, third out. One left for Arizona. They're down three to two. Bottom of the inning. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Jared Kelman. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. And a foul ball left side. The 0 2. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first. Out. And that's the first out in the bottom of the no fifth. Matter. Number five. Shortstop. Orlando. Arcia. Here's Orlando Arcia. 
First time up, he grounded to third. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Long run, nice grab. And there's two down. Now batting, right fielder, Ronald Acuna. Here's Ronald Acuna, Acuna. Jr. at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch just misses. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That big swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. And ball. another ball. Two ball, one strike. Ball Just three. missed. Ozzy Albies in the on-deck circle. And that's ball too four. high, ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just now capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving oh, them a long way. Oh, Here man. is Ozzy Albies up to him. That's a strike across the top of the zone. The 0 1. Inside. Just off the inside edge. Gallon checks on the runner. Acuna dives back in. Two outs. And he grounds one back up the middle. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. First and second, two down. Austin Riley, the next to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Right-hander kicks deals. That one ripped. Thomas going back to the warning track. Makes the catch. So they strand a pair. Five innings complete. It's the Braves three and the Diamondbacks two. Swing and a miss. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Kicks and deals. In there. And so now one and two. Stairs. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Rips that one center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And now Jack Peterson, he's 0 for 1. 
Peterson, multi time All Star, 31 years old, and though usually in left field today, oh, he's no. the designated hitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. And another ball. The pitch. Three ball, one strike. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. High fly ball down the left field line. That one carry. And out of here. He powers that one out of here. It's 4-3. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. One down. Now the batter now, Eugenio Suarez. Started to swing, held up. Suarez goes five feet, 11 inches, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. One down, base is empty. Strider, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched right. up a little bit and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And here it comes. Fouls one off, two and two. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it gonna take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken ah. it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Like Nobody really wants their rhythm oh, broken man. up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Two outs, base is empty. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Yep. And immediately pumps in a strike to the no left-handed hitter. One strike. And no. ball one. One ball, one strike. Right side, hard hit. The throw to first, Out. and that is the inning. D-backs had a pair on the homer. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the sixth inning, and now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. The why to kick the pitch. That clips the corner. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Ball. Inside just missed. Righty to the plate. And that's outside. Two and one. And the right hander deals. 3 2 now. Marcelo Zuna on deck for Atlanta. Here's a rocket to right field. Pulls it in, one away. Now, that's the designated hitter. 
Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. One zero. The Braves down by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. That one missed. Ripped on the ground a second. Marte throws the first in time. Two up, two down. Up next for Atlanta. The center fielder. Michael. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. First offering and it just misses. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Foul ball there. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. The wind of the pitch. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Two down, nobody on. Pitch no, misses inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in a bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a lock, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. And now here is Sean Murphy. Oh one. Harris stands at second with two gone. Here's the pitch, runner on the move, and fouled off. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Joe Jimenez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. And he deals. That ball. misses the zone. Ball one. One ball. No strike. At the belt and fires. Little chopper rolls foul. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers. Got him. And that's the first out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That's in there. Going one. Right handed reliever. Ball. Action in the pen down there. Pierce Johnson getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. One down, base is empty. Pulls that one foul. The one two oh. and down on strikes that's out number two frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while you want to be ready to hit the fastball sometimes you can overthink things and I think that was the case right there back to the top of the lineup Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks ground ball up the middle that's a base hit and that keeps the inning alive. The batter on the field. Cattell Second Marte defense. up to the plate. Cattell Marte. Rudder takes off. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. Jimenez with a move to first. Carroll back in standing. Here's the 0 2. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Corrals it. And that is that. One hit, one left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Braves three. Seventh inning stretch. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Ryan Thompson. 
these are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves late and close there's not much margin for error but at the same time there's a reason they're put in these situations so now to the plate for Atlanta Jared Kelnick And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing. Castro getting cranked up as well. Right field down the line and that one slices foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Got him swinging. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. Fought off foul. A one down. And there's a base hit to right field. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And the first pitch misses for ball one. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. one now comes up empty that's strike two that front door slider such a devastating pitch you don't want to get beat by the inside fastball so you cheat a little bit and then by the time it gets there it's out of the swing play sharp grounder that's through for a base hit Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back-to-back -back singles. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty far through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. First and second, one out. Ozzie Albies getting ready to hit. One for three. Drive. That's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now a great opportunity to at least tie up this game with something like a sack fly or an error in the infield. But another hit to the outfield could absolutely end it. So base is loaded with one away. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. There's a strike. Oh one. Go ahead, run at second. Here at the bottom of the seven. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two.
all loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the oh. plate. Close one doesn't get the call. It's a ball and two strikes. Ripped to first, caught. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just no, unlucky man. at a really Perfect. unfortunate time right there. Yeah. Oh, so they turn to the lefty in this spot, Joe Mantiply. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he could turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Now look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Ball and one. the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. That one ripped, but foul. Ground ball, Walker. He'll do it himself. Out. out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Nice work from the snake pen there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Braves three. And we're back at the, the top of the eight. Back. And now the first the baseman, first Christian Walker. Christian Walker. Jimenez back to work. This one high in the air to left center. Harris sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. One away. Almost a loud start to the yeah. inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And Jack Peterson stands in. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And that one is gone. And they add a run. It's 5 3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He's already homered in this game. That one is upstairs. Way inside, gets out of the way. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Back and forth we go, a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. That one finds the zone. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. And a pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another.
on the ground out to short tosses across the first that was a strong at bat even though he couldn't find a way on base it's a good recovery though after giving up the home run not allowing it to stay in the head but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that two outs base is empty a Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks gets the call and it's 0 and one one run across in the frame so far and we're in the top of the eighth. And a foul ball. And the pitch. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. The pitch. And a foul ball. The old one. That's no. a little bit low. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Paul Seawald, the closer of the staff, is throwing. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. This is outside, and the count's even at two. Wouldn't chase that time. Full count. Payoff pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. And the batter now, Michael Harris. Really nice double last time after a long battle at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The tying run at the plate. Sliced hard but foul. Kicks and fires. And delivers outside. Tying run at the plate. Slap the other way. Foul. Out to short. Sneaks through base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So a change being made out at second. And here's the pinch runner, Forrest Wall. First and second, no outs. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. Just missed. So the tying run at second. On the ground right side. Into the outfield, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score, and now they trail by one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. 
Jared Kelnick next up for the Braves. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Ball. Off the plate inside, and it's 1-0. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Ripped, but it curls foul. Trying to hold a one run lead here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And the one two misses to even the count. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The two two. Lined in the left center, should be extra bases. One runs in. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Relay throw. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Six to five. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, number 30. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now pitching for Arizona, number 30. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. And first offering is fouled off. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Kelman at second with nobody out. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting right fielder. Ronald Acuna. Here's Acuna now. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. to the right Marte tosses to first and Acuna retired now back the second baseman Ozzy now in for the Braves Ozzy Albies well both sides equally as strong so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate Fastball in for a strike, 0 and 1. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Rudder at third, two away. <laughs> two outs. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. Last chance coming up for the D-backs. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Rysel Iglesias. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Thomas in the box now, takes strike one. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Left hand batter waits. That one to first. Olsen handles the chance. He handles it himself. Now one gone in the ninth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this. Position perfectly. Lourdes Goriel Jr. now at the plate. And they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep and fielders guarding the lines. And that one is inside ball one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. The one one. Guriel gets a piece. The wind of the pitch. Good eye right there. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. That misses the zone. And now it's three and two. Geraldo Perdomo waiting for a turn at the plate. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the righty deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Toronto. Toronto. Diamondbacks down to their final out. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0 and 2. Two the D-backs down to their final strike. Down. And that is the ball game. All these players were able to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth and just cruise to this win, getting those final three outs in the top of the ninth. Excellent job of securing your home field and keeping the fans in the ball game all the way to the end. Nice W all the way around. 6-5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.